Simplified Organization. And today I'm going to talk about how I keep my planner digitally. Hello, Lauren. Hey, Alyssa. Um, Shelly, Michelle, hello. So um, I do not have a paper planner. I have a digital planner. <laughs> Yay, all right. Boy, you must be in Eastern time. <laughs> it's middle of the afternoon rest time kind of for us. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Um, what was your name, Mac Jefferson? I know you were on, on my previous scope, but I can't remember your full name. So thank you for sharing. Hi, Celeste. Okay, Makisha, is that how you say it? Okay, so I'm gonna talk about my planner because, all right, on Monday, all right, thanks, Chantel. On Monday, I did a webinar with McKinsey, and McKinsey Monroe of Bold Turquoise and Cultivating the Lovely. And we talked a lot about planner system and mostly about the way she does it and her planner system and her plating pages that she has available. And you can find that conversation that we had. Hi, Trish. Um, uh, it's still available. You can get the replay. Soon I will have the chat log and the audio-only audio version up. But right now it's just the video replay that you can get if you go to simplifiedorganization.com, which you can see right there, and it's slash bold planning to find that replay. And it's still available live. It's gonna be available. I don't plan on taking that down. It's gonna stay free. So you can still sign up and go watch that webinar. And while we were doing that, thanks, Alyssa. Um, all right, well, maybe you do and maybe you don't. You know, you don't have to do it digitally, but it's definitely an option that is kind of underutilized. So while we were there, one question that we got was, how do you keep your plan digitally? Uh, how do I? Because McKinsey is the queen of paper planners and hers is really flexible, which is nice and of course full of washi tape and stickers. And I'm a little bit more clean lines, minimalist, just the thought of having a bunch of stickers and all kinds of washi tape or whatever, kind of, I start breaking out in hives a little bit thinking about it. <laughs> but it takes all types and you should have a planning system that appeals to you and your personality. You know, if you really enjoy crafting and expressing your personality with stickers and color and all kind you know doodling or whatever then definitely pick some kind of planner system that's going to let you express that in your planner because i think the more our planners express our personality the more likely that we are to actually use them and be drawn to them be attracted to them so i'm attracted <laughs> to apps and to how keeping information digitally makes it a lot more convenient and accessible and automated. If there's a way something can be automated, you can also combo, have a combo system. Um, it doesn't have to be one or the other only. Okay, you wanna use Evernote, and now I know you have seen my information about my Evernote course coming up starting Monday. So you can go to simplifiedorganization.com slash Evernote. And next week I'm starting a free six day email course. It's gonna take you from setting up your account on Evernote, so just assuming nothing, just get started with Evernote, to getting your information into Evernote, and then tips and tricks to getting the most out of it and really using it effectively and well. So thanks, Alyssa. So Evernote is a big part of my digital planning system. And, um, you know, it's definitely uh, not pretty necessarily. You know, it doesn't have all the styling font and all of this. Um, yes, I have an Evernote series on Simply Convivial, and I've written about Evernote a lot over the years. And I even have an ebook that's probably about five years old maybe six years old now called paperless home organization and all the principles still apply and I still run things by those principles that are in there but you know the screenshots that I took are out of date because they've restyled Evernote and there are things that have changed because they've changed the way they do their um, premium versus free system and so this what I'm doing now is kind of updating that 
some of the things that were in my Evernote for homeschooling series are going to be in this Evernote course for sure, but this is going to be more than what was in that Evernote series. And it's not going to be specifically, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's not going to be specifically for homeschooling, but more for general, uh, excuse me a second, more for general homemaking, home management, uh, that angle instead of the homeschooling angle. But some of the information will be the same. So Evernote is definitely okay. <laughs> yep, so simplifiedorganization.com slash Evernote. All right, so your planner, whether you use paper, hello, um, or digital or a mix of them both, needs to have, I say, five pieces. Now, all of this is actually in my course called Work the Plan, which is about taking, you know, you have goals, you have ideas of things you should be doing, but then how do we get them actually done <laughs> in the midst of daily crazy life, home with kids and doing lots of stuff? How do we make that plan be applicable and really moving us forward and helping us rather than just discouraging us and being this list that we never actually got to? <laughs> where it's like kind of connecting the idea, like what's it, the plans in my head to what my day is really like and how can I make these things go together? Because I think a lot of our habits around planning is like we like planning because we spend that planning time in this ideal happy place in our head and we make plans based on how we would like things to be and our hopes and what we want and you know and it's a great ideal and it's a great kind of daydream to spend a little time in but then when real life happens <laughs> it hits monday morning hits tuesday morning hits we think okay my plan is useless and it's really easy to jump to therefore planning is a waste of time exactly we're just asking for it really <laughs> so Work the plan is all about connecting the plan to what real life is actually like and planning for that instead of starting with the ideal dream in our head and trying to make that happen in our life. <laughs> but start where we really actually are and what life is really actually like and make a plan that can run with that. So it's work the plan, roll with the punches because that's what real life is like and do the right next thing. All right, excellent, yeah. Not everyone homeschools, not everyone is ready for that. Some people are done with that. Some people send their kids to school and it's all fine. But if we have kids even, or even just a household, even if you don't have kids yet, you have details to manage. So this is just a way to use Evernote to keep that information sorted and um, ready, ready to be used when you need it. So. Even if you don't have kids yet, this is still going to be applicable and probably a great way to get started because, you know, if you can get started earlier, and the, the easier it's going to be as stuff starts piling, as more and more stuff starts piling onto your plate. Okay, so that's Evernote and planning. <laughs> Just did a little, that was a little tangent. Um, um, okay, Evernote... <laughs> it's fine and you can also start later and <laughs> it's still gonna help you right because you still have a lot of years left um, so